This is Austin Duma, Application Specialist at CAD Microsolutions, and today's tech tip describes simple methods to create data reports in SOLIDWORKS PDM. For PDM professional users, reports can be created and managed using the Report Generator tool. However, SQL scripting is required to use this tool, meaning reports are complicated to create and manage using this method. Furthermore, this functionality is not available to PDM standard users. This tech tip will describe how existing export functionality can be used to create simple reports for both PDM professional and standard users, and how to create pre-generated reports that can be set up in the administration program. To show how simple reports can be created, users first need to know how to export metadata. This is achieved by using the export button, which can be found in multiple locations, such as the checkout and check-in functions. It can also be found in the state change function, the integrated search function, the bill of materials tab, the contains tab, and the where use tab. The functionality in each case generally works the same way. You click the export button and Excel will open with the data from the applicable window. In many cases, such as the checkout function shown, users can do some basic filtering to hide and show items such as only showing the top level components of an assembly before exporting the data. Note that the reports created using the export functionality of PDM are what you see is what you get reports. In other words, whichever variables are displayed in the applicable function or tab are those that are, ex that are exported. However, in each case, we can modify the columns displayed to export the desired data. In this case, I want a report of all the components of the main assembly, plus I want to show the description and revision. Within the checkout window, I right mouse click anywhere in the column headers where I'm presented with a list of variables. From here, I can select more and then select the desired variables to display. The variables then appear as new columns on the far right hand portion of the window. I can also remove system variables using the same method and unchecking the applicable checkboxes. Finally, I can click and drag the columns into the desired order. Again, I click the export button, selecting show all levels and open all, and the result is a quick report of my top level assembly. One final note on this method. The system will remember the settings made to the checkout function the next time I access it. This is the same for the check-in and state change functions as well. The previous examples shown were ways users can create their own reports, but there is another method that can be utilized by the administrator to create company-wide reports. This involves using the integrated search function shown and performing a little administration in the background. The key here is that we can modify what data is displayed in the search results list. For this example, I'm going to show how I created a project drawing list. It involves two simple steps within the administration program. The first step was to create a new column set called drawing list in the columns node. Here I added the desired variables to display in the list, making sure to save it as a search results column set instead of a file list column set. The second step was to make a copy of the standard complete search data card, saving it with the same name as the column set. From here, it was a simple matter of assigning the drawing list column set to the new search card and, if desired, assigning permissions accordingly. Once that is done, the report can be used. I run the new drawing list search against a particular project and I plug in some search criteria. In this case, I want to add criteria that will only result in drawings being found for this project. So in this case, I'm going to put SLD DRW into the file name box. Remember, at this point, it is simply another search that looks and works exactly like the original complete search card. Once the search criteria is entered, I then run the search. And the result is a list of all drawings for the project with the desired data being shown. I can now click the export button 
and produce a drawing list. Finally, as a bonus for PDM professional users, some additional effort can be saved by creating a saved search of the criteria used to create the drawing list. I hope that this has been an informative tech tip on how to perform and create simple reports in a PDM vault. Have a great designing day.